Okay, yes, Kevin Benny, uh, back again. So this week I want to piggyback off of what I was talking about last week and how it was basically revolving on ear training for the improvising musician. And this week I want to share a quick exercise that you can do with any scale, any mode to get any particular sound to get or scale into your ear, really to the point where you can sing it and be fluent with improvising with any particular sound. I first happened upon this exercise when I was first learning the modes of the major scale and trying to really get those into my ear and be able to improvise freely within any particular mode, uh, modes like Lydian or Locrian. The problem that I was having, especially when I didn't have a reference note or a piano to reference or my instrument to reference, I kept on hearing the bass note or the tonic root as the relative major because major uh, scales have been ingrained into my ears from the beginning of time since middle school, you know, playing just exercises with the major scale. It's hard to kind of reshape your ear into hearing a different bass note or tonic or root within that scale. This exercise really helped me with that. So let's get into it. Here is the major scale, C major scale with the seven modes. We have Ionian, Dorian, Phrygian, Lydian, Mixolydian, Aeolian, and Locrian. So if you take any one of these notes and then make that the root note or the note you start on and then you play up a scale, play through a scale within the key of C major, that's going to be that particular mode. So uh, the fourth note here, we have F, which is Lydian. So if we put F in the bass, make that the tonic or the root note, and then I just play from F and then an octave above, above F within the key of C major, it should sound like F Lydian. A very common chord that you can improvise using the Lydian scale would be a major 7 sharp 11 scale. Uh, so in this case we're in F Lydian, it will go really well with F major 7 sharp 11, which sounds like this. There you go. Okay, cool. Now with the piano, it's it's pretty easy to kind of hear, like since we haven't been even playing in C major, duh, it's kind of easy to hear that root note, you know. But when you're by yourself, when you're really trying to ingrain these things into your ear with your instrument, with your voice, this exercise that I got is gonna really help you. It's really simple. Kind of get this in your ear and make sure you hear these root notes as the, the tonic and as the particular mode. So here it is. All you are doing is you're coming back to the root note after every note in the scale. Within eighth notes, this is how it sounds. <laughs> And now I have to sing the scale. Da 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 So it really helps with just sinking it into your ear like that. Okay, so let's look at a bit of a step up scale in its modes. So here's melodic minor, C melodic minor, and its modes. And these are the modes that I've been taught in their names. I think there's many names for a few of these. Um, so it goes melodic minor, the first mode, then the second mode is Dorian flat two, then Lydian sharp five, then Lydian flat seven, or Lydian dominant is another term used for it, Mixolydian flat six, Locrian sharp two, and then super Locrian. The first mode I learned off of the melodic minor scale would be the Lydian dominant or that Lydian flat seven. Um, in this case, we're talking about F Lydian dominant. And that scale goes very well with the common dominant seven sharp 11 chord. And that sounds like this. And then here's the exercise that goes with that scale. Again, coming back to these bass notes after every note in the scale. And then sing it. Da, 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 da. So 
So there you go. This exercise, again, it really helps with getting it into your ear, but ultimately it's a great exercise that gets the juices flowing with improvising. Be able to freely improvise within these scales and hearing your way around your instrument within the scale. So I'll demonstrate that right now. I'll solo within F concert, so I'm actually in D on the saxophone. F concert Lydian dominant scale. I'll try not to use too many passing notes. <laughs> Yeah, so coming back to these bass notes after every one of these notes in the scale, again, it ingrains that tonic or the root or the, the, the sound of the, the scale. Because what defines a scale or what defines a chord is the bass note, is that root note. If I play in the piano in my right hand, I play a C major chord, okay? And then I put a C in the bass, that's C major. Now, if I have that same chord in my right hand and then play an A in the bass, it's a completely different chord. It's a minor chord. It's a minor seven chord. So that, it's all about really ingraining the bass notes into your ear. So coming back to these bass notes. You know, it's all about the bass note. Uh, and that's what this exercise helps you ingrain into your ear. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. I hope this exercise will help with your ears, with uh, your technique, with improvising. If you liked the video, definitely give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to, to my YouTube channel. You can also subscribe to my email list if you want more updates. I also have some free sheet music, that little exercises that help uh, with any instrumentalist. Um, I'm also available for Skype lessons, so if you want to give me a holler for that, the description will give you a link to do that. Again, thank you, and I'll see you next week. So here it is. All... So here it is.